What up, everyone? Got another box here. Nerd Block Classic. Let's take a look at this box and see what we got this month. First, got a nice t-shirt. I gotta say, I'm pretty pleased with this one. I, I really like... Move the tag. I really like this shirt. So this is from Ghostbusters. Has the four characters. Says, who you gonna call? But it's in, like, the classic, like, kinda 50s-style comic theme. Um, but yeah, it's just really cool. I like the color schemes. I like the art style. Whoever designed this shirt did a very good job. I, I really like it. I think the design is really cool. Um, it's on a Gildan brand shirt, and it's, it says ring spun on it, which I think means pre-shrunk, which I don't like. I don't like it when shirts are pre-shrunk because I don't shrink my shirts. I don't put them in the dryer. I, I wash them by hand and dry them by hand and things like that. So my shirts never shrink. That's why I have so many of them because I've had them for years. So I don't like it when shirts are like that. But other than that, the design is very cool. I really like it. I like the colors and everything they did. So I think it's very nice. It just looks very, very small though. It looks like this is, isn't quite going to fit me because again, pretty shrunk. But anyway, um, obviously you'd have to like Ghostbusters to like this shirt. But uh, I think most people would. I think most people would really like this shirt. It's a very nice design, and I think it's rather cool. So, nice shirt there. So as far as a rating on this shirt goes, I'm going to give it a 7.75 out of 10. I really like the design. I think this is one of their best. Um, the cool thing about the NerdBlock company, you don't have to deal with crossovers. You don't have to get shitty crossovers all the time, because they own their own shirt company. You're always getting shirt punch, which the quality isn't always the best on them. They usually give pretty crappy shirts, but this one, it definitely isn't. They're usually like the last month, we just got overstock of shirts they had left over. But this one's really cool. I can't imagine this one not selling because it's a genuinely good design. Uh, the reason it didn't get higher is just the quality of the shirt. Uh, the brand of shirt they chose and the, the way they printed on there isn't stellar. So that's the only reason it didn't get higher. But other than that, it's a really cool shirt. So 7.75. Next. We got an exclusive item. So this is a little tin lunchbox. And it looks like the trap, the ghost trap from Ghostbusters. So it's got designs all the way around on the side and stuff there. So yeah, it's actually a really cool design. Nice little tin lunchbox. And inside the lunchbox, we actually have a plush figure of Slimer. So this is obviously an interpretation of Slimer because it doesn't look exactly like the original. So he kind of looks like a Muppet, but I really like it. I like the design. I like that there's like a different take on it. So he's like a, he definitely looks like a Muppet character, but he's really cool. I like the way they did it. And the quality of it is very nice. The way it's stitched, the material and everything like that, all around good quality. So I really like this. Um, I don't know if everyone would like it. They seem pretty Ghostbusters heavy in this one, so you'd have to like that movie or franchise to like most of the stuff. So they're kind of getting risky there, but... I think it was a very popular series and movie, so I genuinely liked it, but you guys will have to let me know what you thought, thought of that. Next, we get some postcards. We get a whole book of postcards, and they're the Awkward Family Photo Postcards. So this has been very popular. It's been on the internet for a long time, and it just is basically is a bunch of cards with the different Awkward Family Photos. So these are funny. Um, I don't know if it's necessarily in theme per se, but I think it's something that everyone can enjoy. I think... Um, I don't know if everyone uses postcards per se, but it's still funny to look through and just use it as a, look through it as a book. But and you may actually use some of these cards. So I think they're funny. They're funny pictures, and they have really cool captions on them. So I think this is enjoyable for for most people. I think it's very funny. Alrighty. Next, we got a stress ball, or better yet, a stress cube. This is a Rubik's cube, little stress ball slash stress cube. So it actually comes in nice packaging, and it is branded, so the quality is there. So I, I kind of like that. Um, I think we've definitely seen enough stress balls lately. I think it, this is one of the items where it's just very easy to create. Um, it's very inexpensive, like cost-wise, to make these. So that's why we're constantly seeing them in boxes. They're just very cheaply made. They're very easy to do. So we see plenty of stress balls in the monthly box thing. So maybe I think everyone needs to take a break from it for a while because you really don't need like 20 different ones. But Rubik's Cube, Stress Cube. Then the last item, we got some coasters. Now these are exclusive to NerdBlock, but I'm assuming this is um, Game of Thrones, but I, I'm not really sure. It says the, the Coaster of Kings 
and it has some pictures on there. They're very close-up pictures, and they're kind of blurry, so I'm not sure. So I assume Game of Thrones, but I'm not totally sure on that. But as far as quality, they're just the little cardboard ones. They're not super nice or anything. That's just the random filler in there. But anyway, that was all the items in there. So not a ton of items, but I thought good quality stuff. So let's go back through the box and talk about some value of these items. All right, the shirt. This will get the standard $12 to $15 value. But the rating, 7.75, for the reasons I said before. Really awesome design. I genuinely like it, and I really hope it fits, even though it looks like it doesn't. Their, their size fitting is pretty awkward from, from Shirt Punch, so I, got, I guess maybe I move, need to move a size up. But either way, I hope it fits, because I, I really like the design. I think it's genuinely really cool. So 7.75 on that. <clears throat> the lunchbox. This is exclusive, so it's hard to put a value on it, but I could see this going for at least ten dollars, like at least eight to ten. Just realizing mine came damaged a little, but luckily it's made a ten, and you can just bend those dents out. There, all better. So I could see this if I saw this in a store going for right around ten bucks, um, give or take a few dollars. But like an eight to ten dollar value, I think is fair. With nothing in it, it, it is very thin metal, so I know these are very cheaply made. But for something that looks, uh, it's not necessarily branded. It doesn't say Ghostbusters, but that's obviously what it's from. So I could see it selling for right around that for just like a cheap tin little lunch pail. And then the Slimer, same thing. Uh, I thought the quality on this is very nice. Plush figures around this size are always going to be valued at around eight to ten dollars. Uh, I'm sure you could find it cheaper, and I'm sure you could find it more expensive. In like a comic shop, it'd probably go for more. People reselling it online, it's probably less. But just to be fair, to find that middle range, probably around 8 to 10. But again, I thought this is very cool. I thought it was good quality, and it's a cool interpretation of a classic character. So I genuinely like this. I thought that was a good job and a good choice. <clears throat> Next, the greeting cards. So this actually has a price on the back, $9.95. So I'm going to put the value at right around 10 bucks. Again, classic thing, I'm sure you could find this online for much cheaper because I'm sure this isn't like a super hot seller, but if it were in store, it would be $10. So I'm gonna put it a general range of just right around 10 bucks. Pretty easy. Then the Stress Cube. Um, because this actually has nice packaging and because it is branded, it actually does say Rubik's Cube and it's not a knockoff, that does actually up the value a little bit. Not a ton, but this is actually going to get a 4 to $5 value. Um, so, but again, because it's in nice personal packaging. If it was just in a plastic bag, it would only get like a buck or two, but because it's in a nice little box, if this were sold in a store or at a comic shop, this would fetch a few dollars. But again, general range. Then the coasters. These are cheap. These are exclusive. They obviously made them in-house. I'm still not sure what they're from. If you guys could see well enough on the camera, you can let me know. But very cheap. Um, just 2 or $3 on that. Nothing special. So, with that in mind, that brings the value of this box on the low end, 44, and on the high end, 53. So, very common, the nerd block company is always going to give a value of right around $50. They're pretty, like, spot-on consistent about that, pretty much always, like, right around 50. They're one of the few boxes that's always, like, spot-on with the value. So, that's the good thing about this company is you always know what to expect. You always know the exact dollar amount you're going to get, and it's a good dollar amount. It's not quite double, but pretty damn close to it. About as close as you're going to get. So I think that's a perfect value. They, they always give good value, and they give interesting stuff. They, they will often get exclusive items like the lunch pail and things like that. They have good partnerships. They, they seem like a good business, and they have like a good mix of items. So it's always cool to see what's in the box because you're always getting something new and interesting. You're seldom getting things that are very generic from this company. They really seem to put some thought into it and give you new and interesting stuff each month. So I'm always happy to get this box and always interested to see what they put in it. And I like this stuff, and I really like the t-shirt, which I rarely do from this company. It's very often that I don't like the shirts because you can always tell it's just like clearance shirts. It's shirts that didn't sell on the website, so they're pawning them off on us. But this is one of the few ones where I really like the design. I think they did a good job. So overall, this box is going to get a 7.75 out of 10. And it could have gotten higher, but 
a few little things like the quality of the shirt could have been better and just, just minor stuff there but so it, there's always room for improvement with any box but I think this is generally really good and the month of August so far has been really good I've really liked all the boxes we've gotten so far and most of them have been getting at least 7 out of 10 if not somewhere between 7 and 8 so they've all been lying around that same range which is good that's really good for these boxes so good value on this I like the shirt got some exclusive stuff got to see some things you've probably never seen before so I think most people would enjoy this but let me know what you guys thought because like I said this was heavy on the Ghostbusters theme so there probably isn't a ton of people that hate Ghostbusters but you might be one of them and if that happened to be the case then this box really sucked for you so let me know what you guys thought about it, if it was too much or if it was just the right amount. And let me know what you guys thought of the items and the rating. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I love you all so much. Peace.